All right, guys, check it out. It's Trevor James, and today we are continuing our great Silk Road journey west to the west of China in Xinjiang province. And we are in Xining, making our way to Turpan, another stop along the Silk Road. We're gonna find a lot of delicious, delicious Central Asian cuisine over the next month. This is gonna be the trip of a lifetime. The Silk Road is something I've always wanted to see, so we set off on a 4,000 kilometer journey from Chengdu to Kashgar overland in search of delicious Central Asian Muslim halal Chinese street food. All right, here we are. This is the high speed train in China. These go really fast. Journey West. Are these our seats? Yeah. Nice. And the journey, the journey West begins. We continue our way. You excited? Yeah. It's gonna be really good. So I just started editing and I got some photos from Sheening here that I'm going through to post to our Instagram. And we're in a tunnel right now, so it's pitch, it's pitch black outside, but I think there's a bit of a s surprise outside. Wow. We are rolling and it is snowy. We must be at high elevation now. This is awesome. We're going at high speed, like about, I think 150, 200 K per hour right now. There it is guys, we're going 190 kilometers an hour and we are, we must be super high elevation because it is like super bright out there and it's just pure snow. We must be in the middle of nowhere. This is so cool. We are arriving in Turpan. Wow! It's, it's totally fresh! A desert! It feels like a desert with mountains in the background. And grapes! Arriving into Turpan felt like a different world. It was dry and hot, and the people are mostly Uyghurs and Hui Chinese, with a whole different set of cuisine. We set off to find one of the most famous dishes from Xinjiang the Da Pan Ji, aka a big plate of chicken. Da Pan Ji. Ro. How chi ma? Now woman, woman tian tai ma. Jeli ma. Oh. Ni hao. Ni mi you Da Pan Ji. Ah, ke yi tian yi ge, yi ge da Da Pan Ji ma. Hao, wo men zuo zhe li ke ma. Hao. Oh, kan chi lai hen hao chi da. Xie xie. Hey yo, oh, Niman yo, this is Yang Rou Chuar. It's a Yang Rou Chuar. Oh. Can you like, 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 can <laughs> wow, this is really nice to come here. I've always wanted to come to Xinjiang and we've got a big Da Panji coming up. This is going to be really good. Hello, <laughs> Look at these monster lamb kebabs. I just can't wait for the da panji. We gotta go right in. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. That is really juicy. Not quite as tender as I would hope, but that cumin and chili flavor is just infused in there. And they give you a large piece of meat because they're they're five kwa each, so you get a lot of meat for a skewer here. Oh, yes, yeah. And that, uh, it's huge. It's full of potatoes, chilies, huge slices, huge chunks. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, that's a huge plate of chicken. 
That's what the name literally means. Da Panji, big plate of chicken. Look at this. Huge chunks of chicken. Oh yeah. Oh, and, and big potato slices. Lots of garlic. Oh, and then the real secret, the real treasure is at the bottom. Look at that. Oh, there's hand pulled noodles at the bottom for when you finish your meal. Oh guys, this is huge. This is true joy. Oh, oh yeah. It's like a spicy cinnamon. There's a quite a strong cinnamon and star anise flavor in there. Mmm, and then look. There's all these, there's this treasure of noodles on the bottom. Oh, hand pulled, heavenly noodles that soak in all of that sauce. Now that is a top quality tapanji. The cinnamon, the star anise flavor is really bold and strong. The chilies are actually not too spicy. It just gives it a nice little touch of love. And these hand pulled noodles, the texture is really, really just perfect. That'll bring you to a new level of noodle heaven. Oh, and Ting found the chicken foot in there. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? How are you? Alright guys, I just want to give you a quick update. Right after we finished that Da Pan G, I came back to our hostel here in Turpan and began editing the first video from this series, which was from Chengdu to Xining. And I didn't have a backup of it, and the hard drive crashed. And it is now two days after that happened and we spent all of yesterday here in Turpan at a data recovery center trying to get it off and this is our hostel right here. And um, it's, up to the, it's up to luck right now whether we get that data back. Otherwise the journey is going to have to start here in Turpan. We're just going to stay positive and keep moving forward and it's just the beginning of our journey of the Silk Road. So stay tuned for the next episode, which is gonna have a lot of delicious, delicious food here in Turpan. We're gonna start filming today. It's gonna be good. Thanks, guys.